One of the most popular door collections we offer is the Shaker series. Uh, Shaker has been growing in popularity for years now. It seems like about 10 years. Everybody's wanting Shaker kitchens. Shaker means different things to different people. So what Conestoga did several years ago is they developed a, a collection. We have it on our website under the Shaker collection where there are several different styles of Shaker doors. We don't have them all represented here, but I'm going to show you some of our more popular ones and talk you through some of the other options. Um, so let's get started with that. This is the Albany door, and the Albany door is one of the more popular ones we offer because it gives you a traditional shaker look, flat panel, but the panel is solid wood, so there's a, a raise on the back of the door that faces the back of the door, uh, so you can still maintain that heft. It's got a nice solid wood panel in it, uh, but it gives you that clean shaker look. This same door, by the way, is available in one called the Stockbridge. That's probably in our top five sellers right now. Same exact look. The only difference is the center panel is quarter inch plywood, so it's a thinner quarter inch veneer plywood. Still got the same matching species, whatever. You almost can't tell it's, it's not real wood or, or solid wood, but it keeps the price really low for you. So the Albany and the Stockbridge look like this. Another popular door we offer is called the Fairhaven. This door was modeled after the Cymatic Beckerman door years and years ago. Gives you a nice wide frame, which you can vary the width of the framing. If you want to make it wider, you can. Uh, but it gives you this kind of open crevice in the joints. It's actually accentuating the mortise and tenon joinery with a nice soft edge that runs all the way around the interior perimeter. So that's a little more of a contemporary door. You put some big um, brushed nickel bar poles on that. It kind of gives you a more contemporary look. It's in the Shaker series, but I would consider it more of a contemporary door. One of the newer doors Conestoga offers is called the Cortland. This door uses a plywood panel. You can't see it on the door really, but it flushes out. The panel flushes out with the back of the door. So it's a plywood panel with a little rabbit in it that tucks into the frame. That plywood panel keeps the price down. The Cortland comes standard with a really wide, I believe it's three and a quarter inch frame all the way around. So it gives you a much more burly, wide looking frame, which is very popular these days. Pretty inexpensive door too because of the plywood panel. Something to be mindful on when you're doing these wider frame doors is if you get on a 9 inch cabinet with a very narrow door, two 3 inch pieces of framing is going to result in a very small center panel. So be mindful of uh, some of your door and cabinet sizes as you design. And another one of our top sellers is the Madison door. Uh, the Madison door uses a somewhat shallow panel drop. It doesn't go all the way down a full 3 eighths. It's more about a quarter of an inch of drop to the panel face and it has a nice delicate bead along the inside here. So it gives you a little more pop if you wanted to use a glaze on your miter door, your uh, shaker doors. This is a good door to use it on because the glaze has somewhere to grab. Whereas on these doors, the glaze has nowhere to grab. Uh, to, to show you that, this door has a glaze on it. You almost can't see it in the corners here because there's nowhere for it to hang up. So the, the Madison door is a great choice for that. There are also shaker style options that go well. Some people like to put pegs in their shaker door. So this door here, in this kitchen that we're in, is a Conestoga kitchen. This uses just a simple TW10 door with a regular bead on it, but the owner of this kitchen chose to put a single peg in the corner of each door. It's a square walnut peg. You can do a matching species peg, although it wouldn't show up. You can do a cherry peg, just something to make that peg kind of pop off the door. But that gives you that traditional shaker joinery where they used to actually hold the door together with the peg. In this case, it's not a through peg, it's just a decorative peg. The door is still mortise and tenon together. But it does give you a nice design element to kind of dress up an otherwise simplified kitchen. So there's many other designs that we have on the Shaker collection. Some have double vertical panels, uh, some have uh, a bead on the outside that kind of mimics the one on the Madison door here. There's eight or ten different doors in the collection. We just wanted to show you some of the more popular ones. Feel free to check out the website, go to cabinet doors, drop down to designs, and you'll see the collections drop below that, and you can just scroll down until you get to the, the Shaker collection. If you have any questions on Shaker, or you're confused about options to choose with Shaker, give our customer service people a call, 888-211-6482. Uh,